the majority of the characters I created are from you know the 90s, uh, pretty much the generation where I'm coming from. Uh, a lot of people that tend to follow me on Instagram, they've seen these shows before, these cartoon shows, and emotionally they're probably connected to them. So I was like, hey, you know, um, maybe you know we can just create something different. Sarcastically, I'll say, oh, childhood ruin. This is, this is like my process of doing a character. I normally have a, an image as a reference. If I'm happy with the way uh, the image comes out, I tend to add the details. I try to transition that from 2D to 3D proportionally. Uh, that's what I try to get aim for. As for the eyes, I try to transition that to like real life, realistic uh, 3D. I try to look at old school references like uh, like legendary uh, VFX makeup artists like Rick Baker and Tom Savani. I, I tend to look at their work and I get inspired from it. Just the outrageous proportions. They uh, they give them you know uh, outrageous you know ex exaggerated uh, facial expressions. That's and I try to transition that to uh, 3D form, which gives it like more of a creepiness. So we got Kermit the Frog. As of right now, I'm giving him a, a funny looking expression. Kermit doesn't only have teeth. I googled some images of Kermit with teeth. I thought it was pretty funny and creepy at the same time because Kermit's not really known for having teeth. I'm trying to humanize him with like ears. He doesn't really have ears, but you know, I, I, I think it would be pretty creepy and funny with ears, but at the same time, I'm kind of debating. The way Jim Henson uh, created Kermit, you know, it's an oval-shaped uh, body. And I know um, he probably didn't have in mind that, oh, Kermit in real life is fat. But you know, I take the same proportions. You see that there's folding in there, and he's kind of round. So, um, you know, I took that into uh, 3D form, and I gave him kind of a, uh, of a fat look to it. process of uh, doing hair, realistic hair, is really painstaking, time-consuming. That's why I tend to go for characters that don't have fur or hair. Gerald's hair too, because he has curly hairs. I try to not make him as, look as creepy as other creations because I think it's too cliche. Like lately I've been just doing a lot of creepy cartoon characters, so I wanted it to look as proportional and, and accurate as possible. I feel like I nailed the proportions correctly. All my friends were like, oh my god, that looks so good, you know, it looks just like Homer. When I create my characters, I'm always behind the screen for like a whole day. But once I take like a, a day off and I see the, the, the character I create, I'm all like, oh wow, he does look like that 2D character. Ed, Ed and Eddie is definitely my second favorite uh, 3D character I've created. I posted on Twitter and uh, a lot of people put memes of, you know, being scared. I was really surprised by the amount of um, people that who, who appreciated the, uh, the artwork that I made. I think that's the only project I've done that has like a, a background in it. The way Eddie's holding the jar with the coin inside, like the little details I put in. That took me seven over seven months to do, so um, I'm really happy with the outcome of that. <laughs> As an artist, you know, you want to see people's reactions. It's the best feeling out there, uh, seeing people, you know, critique or um, admire your work, and um, that's why I do it. Mm -hmm. 